Hi, welcome to the 10th chapter in Selenium using C Sharp. This is about XPath functions in Selenium web driver. This is the second video on XPath. Now let's see the agenda of this topic. That is the XPath functions. There are different functions in XPath. Those are text starts with contains not lost and position. Now let's see one by one in detail. XPath using text function. The syntax for this text is equal to visible text. It can be used like driver dot find element by dot XPath and text is equal to the text we are going to give here. And this XPath will select an element which contains the text our people. Example, here I will uh, copy paste first four lines and I will paste here. Here I will rename this as XPath locator functions. Here I will click on this our people. See this is the visible text dot text that present in between two tags that is the start tag and end tag is the visible text. Now let's see how to use that in the code. For the driver dot here I will change the URL. Here I will give driver dot find element by dot xpath in xpath I am going to give the tag name for that is h2 and text is equal to I will copy paste from there dot text property I will give here the return type of the text is string so that I will store in one string s1 variable and I will print that one and I will give thread dot slip and I will give driver dot quit. Now I will run the test case. It has launched the browser and it passes the URL. Driver got closed and let's check the output. See, it has captured the text. Like this, we use the text function in XPath. Next, XPath using start with function. The syntax for this is tag name starts with attribute name comma value. It can be used like driver dot find element by dot xpath. Here the tag name is input that starts with id comma rem rem. That uh, remember me will starts with rem. I will show that this xpath will select an element whose tag name is input, attribute is id and value is rem. See I will go for login here. For this checkbox is remember me here they have I have given only the three letters now let's see how to use that in the code for that I need to command these three lines and I need to change the URL also driver dot URL is equal to once I done with this driver dot find element by dot x path inside the double quotes I will give here the tag name is input and it will starts with id is equal to here instead of is equal to I need to give comma rem R E M. It will starts with the uppercase R E M. That is the link checkbox so that I can give the method. I, we can use the method click. Now let's run the program. See it has launched the browser. 
and it will pass the URL and it will click the checkbox. Like this we will use the starts with function along with the xpath. Comment this line. Next xpath using contains function. The syntax for this tag name contains at the rate attribute comma value. We use it like this driver dot find element by dot xpath dot forward double slash input is the tag name contains is the function at the rate id is me m e that is the content that present in that remember me this xpath will select an element whose tag name is input attribute is id and value that contains m e See here, the same checkbox, remember me checkbox, here the id is remember me. Here I am only giving the part of this, that is me I will give. Let's see how to use that in the code. Driver dot find element by dot xpath, inside the xpath I will give dot double slash inputs contains at the rate id comma i will give m e same function i will give now dot click method we will use here now let's run the test case see it has launched the browser and it will pass us the URL and the checkbox is clicked. Like this we will use the contains function along with the xpath. The next one is xpath using not function. We will be used like driver dot find element by dot xpath input at, at the rate type is equal to checkbox and not at the rate checked. This xpath will select the checkboxes which do not have the attribute checked. See here, this is the checkbox. This checkbox field, this checkbox does not contain the attribute checked. Now, the test case, what I am writing, it will identify that checkbox which does not contain the checked attribute. Let's comment this one, this line. Driver dot find element by dot x path. Inside that I will give in double quotes dot slash slash. The tag name here is also a input and at the rate type is equal to checkbox and here we are using a and operators also but not means it does not contain the at the rate checked attribute dot click method we will use now let's run the test case it has launched the browser it will pass the URL and it will click on the checkbox. See, it is clicked. So, here we same we can also do by assigning the value for this at checked attribute. There is no checked attribute only. If we assign the value for that, that is checked. And let's run the program, run the test case. Here also it, the same operation will be done because it will select the checkbox which is not containing the CT is clicked which is not containing the attribute checked. Like this we will use the not function with xpath. Next the xpath using last function. The syntax is tag name last method. It can be used like driver dot find element by dot xpaths dot double forward slash t body and in t are lost. This xpath will select a lost element in the table. 
see now let's go for training i we need to select these last elements in this table for that the x path is let's go for the test case and we need to navigate to other url is equal to need to copy this one driver dot find element dot by dot x path and i'm going to give that dot slash slash t body slash tr i'm going to give here last method and i am going to fetch the data from there for that i am using the property text so i will store this text in a string variable yes to and i am going to keep this in the console dot write line let's run the test case See it has launched the browser, and it will pass us the URL, and it navigated to that page, and it captured the last value in the table. See, this is the last value. The same test case we can use it to select for the previous value like this. The X path using last minus one function. See the tag name is last minus one. The same what we done means in after the last we need to mention minus one. This X path will select the last but one element in the table. Let's navigate to this one, and here we will can give X minus one, and let's run the test case. See it has passed the. Launched the browser and it's captured the value also. See, is it has captured the previous value and previous row value. Like this, we can also use last minus two, last minus three, last minus four also. The next function is x path using position function. The syntax for this is x path tag name position is equal to two. Like that, we can give position is equal to one, two, three for anything. Driver dot find element by dot x path input at the rate type is equal to text and position is equal to two. This x path will select the second text box. Let's see the code for this. Before that, we'll go for the register. See there is a for password also. Type is equal to password, and for confirm password also, the type is equal to password. Let's see how to use that in the code. Driver dot find element by dot x path. For that, I need to navigate for the other URL. I will copy this Alt tab and I will comment these two lines. And driver dot URL. Is equal to Control V. Here X path I'm going to give like this. Dot double slash input at the rate type is equal to in single quotes I will give password. And I'm going to give position here is equal to. The position is the function. We are not passing any parameter to that function. Here we need to give the angular bracket, and we need to end with that angular bracket. Dot send keys. I will give now. Let's run the test case. See, it has launched the browser and it will pass us to the pass us the URL and it will enter the value for the 
See, it has entered the value for the confirm password field. Like this, we will use the position function in the X path. The possible interview questions on this, these functions in X path are which are the types of functions available in X path, how to use text function in X path, how to use starts with function with X in X path. How to use contains function in XPath. How to use lost function in XPath. How to use not function in XPath. And how to use position function in XPath. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And join our group on LinkedIn. And finally, don't forget to give your feedback in comment section. Thank you.